All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And y'all, what is this? This don't look like Black Ops 4 or COD World War 2, a modern snore fair, or whatever else I've been uploading on this channel. This is not Call of Duty, guys. This is a new shooter called Split Gate, and it is fantastic, boys. Oh, my goodness. I played this game for like an hour today. And my blood pressure actually went down, which is almost unheard of. Usually when I'm playing an FPS, my blood pressure skyrockets, especially when I'm playing any Call of Duty game, any recent COD game. It is just, oh my, dude, I feel awful, the stress, the anxiety. Not on this, man. On this game, Splitgate, it's just fun. I, 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 I couldn't believe I was playing the game and I was... I was smiling and I, I felt a sensation. I'm like, what is this weird feeling? I, I, I don't. It was. I almost forgot what it was like, but it was. It was fun. That was the sensation I was having. I was having fun. I was having a great time. This game is so much fun to play right now. I haven't really mastered the porthole system yet. Now, I'm sure later on in this game's life cycle, like dudes have been telling me on Twitter, like, yo, man, enjoy the game now because once the, you know, everyone starts learning the mechanics of the game and the cheese weapons and the cheese spots and how to portal all over the place, you know, it's going to be a sweat pit. It's going to be just like Fortnite. Like, this is like early Fortnite for me before everybody mastered building. You know what I mean? Like, just jumping on Fortnite. No one really is spamming apartment complexes at you yet. Nobody really knows how to build. And it's just gunplay. As you see in this gameplay, no one's really using the portal and, like, zipping all over the place. I don't know if that's going to be a problem later on in this game's life cycle. Uh, not a whole lot of portaling going on around here. Which is, like, You see, I'm trying to open the portal, but it's not really going anywhere. Yeah, this is a, a portal shooter game, guys, where you just open up portals and you can just appear in different areas of the map. You can, like, strategically ambush people or whatnot. Yeah, I don't know anything about that yet. I'm still learning the game. But, man, is this game fun, boys. I went on a 17-kill streak in this game right here. This is about an hour of playtime in. The first half hour I was playing this game, I wasn't recording. I forgot to turn my, my Elgato on. I was like, oh, man, <laughs> have a just... I don't know. I, I don't know why I forgot to do that, but I had some other amazing games. Well, I think the first couple games they say you play against bots. I'm pretty sure I'm playing people in this game here. I mean, it's kind of tough to tell. There's nobody talking. There's no death chat. Uh, yeah, that dude just slid at me. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm playing people. I don't know what the heck's going on. All I know is that I'm having fun, boys. I'm having fun, and I really think it's because the developers uh, know how to make a game fun and that is by making sure the skill-based matchmaking is loose okay that is one cool thing about this game uh, split gate the developers actually talk about skill-based matchmaking and they say they want loose skill-based matchmaking in their game now just that right there is a huge reason to go out and get this game the fact that the developers are openly talking to us about skill-based matchmaking, and they're saying that they want it to be loose. Check out this TikTok clip right here, fellas. This is one of the game developers. And, you know, people are asking him how does Splitgate skill-based matchmaking work, and he's actually talking about him, and he's like, our view is we're going to have loose skill-based matchmaking. You know, we want a balance where we're not going to throw a professional player into a match with a brand-new user who's ever played the game before because it's just not fun. But at the same time, we don't want the high rank lobbies to just purely forever be high rank lobbies where you just never get anything fun. You mean like Black Ops uh, Cold Snore? <laughs> where you're, you know, you're sweating all game long just to go 18 and 15? And the second you get a streak, you get shot down in the blink of an eye? Yeah. The last Call of Duty game I played that had loose skill-based matchmaking, which is what this guy's talking about. No, Activision... And no one from Call of Duty's ever really come out and, and acknowledged the existence of skill-based matchmaking, but we all know it exists. Like, if I walk outside in a rainstorm and I get drenched, I don't need a weatherman to tell me it's raining out. I know. I know there's skill-based matchmaking in the COD lobbies. We all know it. We've all abused it and exploited it. We've all seen it. You guys remember when I made that second account? <laughs> I was running around walking in front of people. They weren't even shooting at me. When I go back on my main account, the second like a, an article of a thread of my clothing appears around a corner, boom, I get beamed. So yeah, it definitely, definitely exists. And the fact that these Splitgate developers are talking about skill-based matchmaking, saying, yeah, we know it exists. 
but we don't want it to be, you know, thick like it is in Call of Duty. We want it to be loose. You know, we want high skilled players to have fun too. Uh, they did say they're not going to put brand new players in against pros. You know, I don't have a problem with that. That that's fine. But guys, there is a casual playlist in this game. That's the playlist I'm in right now, and where skill based matchmaking kind of exists. It's very loose, kind of like it was in Black Ops One. Call of Duty had loose skill-based matchmaking in the Black Ops 1 era. That was the last time they had loose skill-based matchmaking. Ever since then, the skill-based matchmaking been getting turned up gradually. Uh, especially with the last two CODs. In Modern Warfare 2019 and Cold Snore, bro, they turned that skill-based matchmaking up to 11. <laughs> okay, it is insane. Unless you're abusing skill-based matchmaking or reverse boosting like most of the nuke channels and gameplay guys are, you're not having fun on that game. It is just... It's a professional free tournament every game. You know, it's terrible. Uh, this game right here, you could actually have fun. Uh, now, there's no kill streaks, there's no perks or anything like that yet. I don't know. It's just a beta. But I really hope this game doesn't get boring. I hope they add a lot of stuff in this game that's fun to grind for. I really hope they make Splitgate uh, just worth playing over and over again. I don't know if it has a prestige system. I really don't know anything about it. All I know is that it's fun. It doesn't have skill-based matchmaking in it, and it's free, guys. It's free to download. Go out and download this game right now. It's on every platform. Go out and download this game right now and enjoy yourself. Look at that, man. A 17 kill streak. Oh, I got a battle pass. All right, so there is a battle pass in the game. I have no idea what's in it. But obviously the game is free, so they're going to jam it with all kinds of goodies. <laughs> you already know the free games, they always have add-ons, man. <laughs> you look, I mean, look at Fortnite for crying out loud. Uh, and yeah, my game, Raid Shadow Legends, they give you that game for free. But uh, yeah, trust me, that game ain't free either. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, yeah, this game's a whole lot of fun, fellas. Go out and download this game right now and play it. Trust me. If you forgot what it's like to have fun again... Hit up this playlist right here, guys. Look at this, man. Casual playlist. Call of Duty, you better be taking notes. This be this playlist better be in the next COD or else COD is doomed. I mean, look at these titles we got dropping. We got X Defiant, Halo, Splitgate, Battlefield, all teaming up to end Call of Duty. Just like this dude on Twitter said, Call of Duty. Call of Duty's already dead, okay? The multiplayer, 6v6, is a damn ghost town, okay? Then you've got their, their main game, the Battle Royale. Everyone's leaving... Everyone's leaving Warzone because of all the damn hackers. That's one thing, too, X, uh, that this game, Splitgate, has. They actually do have an anti-cheat, and it is cross-play, but, but they claim to have anti-cheat, so <laughs> that's more than cod gut. The big streamers are leaving Warzone, going over to Apex Legends. Uh, Call of Duty's in a lot of trouble, man. I've never seen COD in this bad a shape, and um, yeah, it's time. I, I want to have fun again, guys. I want to have fun again gaming, and Splitgate looks like it's it, man. I hope... I hope this game uh, stays fun. I really do. I hope it doesn't turn into a crap show. But uh, what do you guys think, man? Is this, is this game like the real deal? You guys play it yet? What do you think? Uh, hopefully they give me something to keep grinding for, though, because like I said, the game is fun and all. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I mean, there's no perks. There's no streaks. I, I mean, I don't know. It's got to have something in it to keep me going, which I'm pretty sure it will have. But it's just a beta and I'm having a great time. I'm enjoying it. Uh, let's see what happens. You know, it feels good to have fun playing the game again. Uh, FPS feels good having fun playing the FPS again. That's all I can say. Try out Splitgate. It's for free. Download it now and try it. And uh, thank you guys all so much for the support. I will catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.